Now, going over to the political part podcast, you have Biden saying he would veto a bill that prevents non citizens from voting, which I was going to say, I forget how many conspiracy theories have been proven true the past couple of years. I don't want to say it, but it is cliche to say, put another dollar in the Alex Jones was right jar. Now, this is actually reposted by Elon on X Twitter. And again, this is from Speaker Johnson. Elon simply says, wow. And Speaker Johnson says, it should alarm every American citizen that the sitting president of the United States who has opened our border to over 9 million illegals just announced he would veto our bill to prevent non-citizens from voting. And it got 40.4 million views and 186,000 likes. Now, one of the first comments comes from, again, we do, all right, we got a contrarian comment right off the bat. I was wondering where he, he went. It's been a couple days since I see him in the chat or the comment section. The first comment comes from Paul Zupa saying, quote, Joe Biden wants to make illegals so Democrats can cheat in elections and censuses. It's been his plan along. Question, why did Speaker Johnson fund this Biden regime? He knew this would happen. Unquote, gained 1.4 thousand likes, which Biden's not alone. That has been done for decades in terms of illegal immigrants counting on the U.S. Census, which is ridiculous to say the least because it gives states a huge incentive to have the illegal behavior increase in frequency. Now, we also have our favorite contrarian or leftist, Luke Zaliski, which, granted, I mean, I'm not a big fan of him. However, echo chambers getting a little bit boring and more perspective is better. The background on Luke is he is someone who is, again, far left, but he also brags about how he wrote an article for GQ saying boys should not be allowed to play football. And he also has a picture of him wearing a V-neck as a cartoon, as a profile picture, which is ridiculous since we all know that all men, all true men, always suit up, obviously. Now, Luke says, quote, We shall alarm every American that the right wing and Trump are in absolute sync and have been with Putin. Ah, grammar error. Putin was not capitalized, Mr. Luke, and is a name, so... It should be capitalized. Nevertheless, then he starts the sentence with there, and that's not capitalized. Pathetic. Nevertheless, their talking points and anti-democratic actions and agendas are antagonistic to the rule of law and ongoing, and have led to, to impeachment and attack on Congress. Mentally vacuous, however, it got 698 likes and 96 comments. He ratioed. Let's see. Huh? Not by number of likes, but a lot of people giving country and comments to him. And of course, he didn't actually... This is, I don't know if it's kind of a leftist thing, but he didn't actually disprove the original post. He just... He's notorious for just copy-pasting just his random talking points. Maybe that's just above his pay grade to actually articulate his thoughts into coherent statements, which I don't have much ground to stand on, well, at least, you know, when I'm on the camera. But if I'm, you know, sitting on a computer or using your phone, you should have time to actually think out a, a response and but no, he didn't actually address the substance of the debate or the issue. Arthur Eagleman says, quote, this is treason, getting 3.3 thousand likes. He also says, quote, it's strange that Mike posts this, the guy could have leveraged a closed border months ago, getting 3.7 thousand likes, which, yep, Republicans are notorious for acquiescing from responsibility and just, you know, doing whatever Democrats want, which one of my favorite, you know, metaphors for politics is Democrats are running off a cliff, Republicans are just walking towards the cliff. Because, again, <laughs> they gave Biden the funding for a lot of these things. And he gave, they had some leverage, and yet they and they just did nothing, basically. Going down more and more. Let's see. I'll be back, says it has a picture of Biden, and it says, quote, Treason, you don't steal an election, give money to weapons to the Taliban, destroy our military, destroy our food supply, destroy, destroy your energy and glass, disassemble your border, and encourage an invasion of your own country. And it not be a treasonous act against your own people and country. Lock him up. Gain 1.1 thousand likes. Now, in his defense, when it comes to the southern border, he gave that job to Kamala Harris. And she's been doing a great job. <laughs> That's a joke, because I don't know what she actually does. And I don't think she could accomplish anything, really. Yeah, that was one of the things he told her to do. Obviously, she's failed. Though, from her perspective, I mean, working perfectly for them. But in terms of our country and security, yeah, obviously, F-. minus. Let's see. I'll be back as like 50. Is it memes in a row? All right, I'll read this one because it's the most popular one before you have a bunch. I'll be back so as a meme. It says Democrats have chosen illegal criminals and terrorists over its U.S. citizens. It got 709 likes. Let's see here. Melissa says absolutely. It's a picture that says fair elections would end the Democrat Party. Getting 650 likes, which... I mean, it wouldn't, because again, the U.S. on average is about 50-50 split, you know, left versus right, and right Republican. But it is interesting they have to import, all, I mean, all this importation is happening right before the election season. 
Fuck Charlie coincidence, I'm sure. Ha! As a sarcasm. Let's see. This is important, so I'll read it. Published says Arizona allows illegal aliens to vote in federal elections. This is why Democrats oppose the SAVE Act or any requirements to strengthen election integrity. On Arizona Medicaid form, it clearly states if you do not submit proof of citizenship, proof of citizenship uh, let me expand the paragraph so I can read it a little bit better. Uh, if you do not submit proof of citizenship and we cannot acquire your proof of citizenship from the Arizona Motor Vehicle Division or state by registry, you'll receive a federal only ballot which has only federal races and no state, county, or local elections initiatives and referendums. Wow. I got 174 likes. Here. America Mama Bear says no politician or any politician rather who does not pass this is a traitor, period. Getting 850 likes. And she is referencing the act that Speaker Johnson is proposing to actually you know, make it so you have to be a citizen to vote in the federal elections. It could be every election in the U.S., obviously. Well, obviously us. But let's see. Scrolling down more and more. Let me, geez Louise, I'm trying to scroll because I'll be back as like 50 memes in a row. Okay, finally. 60 memes, jeez. Uh, let's see. All right, here's one that's popular. I'll be, it's not a meme, but it's an interview, uh, short video. He simply says, black Americans are waking up. It says, once every four years, Democrats will come out. They'll slither their way into black entertainment space. But it's like for the first three years, we don't see them anywhere. Yep. Uh, especially they go to the churches. They do that a lot too. What's this? Mary Wicker says, has a picture of Biden and says, if you won't vote Democrat, I'll flood the country with people who will. Getting 301 likes. Oh, that's a good one from some meme was made by Turning Point USA. Brock has a meme that says, when a valid ID is required, one, boarding a plane, two, getting a prescription, three, applying for a job, four, cashing a check, five, applying for food, food stamps, Six, driving. Seven, getting married. Eight, adopting a pet. Nine, buying alcohol. Then it says, when a valid ID is not required, voting. They got 616 likes. So again, one or two contrarian statements, but overwhelming majority of people saying, yeah, what the heck is the White House thinking? Perhaps just saying the quiet power out loud. And, I mean, a lot of Americans might be irate, but what are they going to do? I mean, obviously you need to get out and vote, of course. But will the Senate do anything? I mean, Biden says he'll veto it, so even if it passes vote, even if it passes somehow, the Senate, maybe the House actually does get it passed as well. And I'm not counting on them. There's a lot of rhinos, pejoratively known as Republicans in name only, as this is, it shouldn't be, but this has become a political issue with people on the far left thinking, you know, shouldn't have any ID to vote and doesn't matter, anyone can vote. And people, I'd say in the middle and right, say, no, you should be a U.S. citizen and have a valid form of ID to vote in federal elections, and any elections, obviously. And it'll be interesting to see how many votes are, because again, you, I mean, Elon, I will probably dive into this on Monday perhaps, but Elon had a post on X Twitter talking about, about how hard it'll be to actually verify if these votes were or were not valid with the current methodology they're using. But let me know, do you have any friends who think this is a good idea? Or do you know any friends who think, you know, we should just let everyone vote? Let me know in the comments. As always, I'd be fascinated to hear what you have to say. Thank you, everyone, for taking the time to tune in. Again, trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So if you could click that button, I would greatly appreciate it. Also, giving me a thumbs up, thumbs down, or comment is a great way to give me some additional feedback, letting me know how I can make the show better and better. Lastly, don't forget to take the time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe and fight the good fight.